Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 4 in the Calculus 1 playlist. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at limits at infinity and uh, we're going to be looking at the function f of x is equal to 1 over x squared. So I went ahead and just graphed it really quick here in red and then I wrote some corresponding x and f of x values. So we're going to be looking at the function 1 over x squared. We're going to be taking the limit of this function as x approaches 0. So basically, if we were to look at this uh, data that I have here, if we were to kind of straddle the value 0, and we look at f of plus or minus 1, plugging in a plus or minus 1 into this right here, gives us a corresponding f of x value of 1. Moving in a little bit closer on the left and the right hand side to plus or minus 0.1, gives us a corresponding f of x value of 100. And even closer to plus or minus 0 0.001, we're already getting a value of 1 million. So basically, as we move closer to the value x equals 0, our function continues to grow very fast. So it gets very large the closer we get to 0. And because of this, we can just write equals infinity over here. So what exactly does a statement like this mean? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that the limit exists because infinity is not a finite value. So basically, the way to interpret a statement like this is basically to say, OK, if we take the limit of our function 1 over x squared, basically the closer we get x to the value 0, the bigger the f of x value is that we're going to get. So we're not actually going to look at f of 0 because that point doesn't really exist. But as we get closer to it, as we take the limit of it, we can basically describe the limit as x approaches 0 as infinity basically means that the closer we get to the value 0, the bigger the corresponding f of x value becomes. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. You guys have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next tutorial in the Calculus 1 playlist. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.